Am I... Am I doing it right? I don't know. I don't know. Is this any better? Oh well. <laughs> I tried. You know, as a big fan of uh, Pat McGrath, I am obsessed with her Instagram feed. And so, I thought I would try to recreate one of her Instagram uh, videos here on my channel. Specifically, this one. But let's get a better look. There she is. Oof, yeah. And this uses the um, Sublime Mothership 2 palette. One of my prized possessions from the Pat McGrath Labs collection. So let's get into it. Firstly, I'm going to pull my hair back and prime my eyes with that uh, CoverGirl concealer. I'm going to start with the eyes um, because these glittery uh, eyeshadows do tend to fall out and I want to make sure the eyes are perfected um, before getting into the skin. But this will just cancel out the discoloration that I have on my eyes and create a base for the eyeshadow. Ooh, opening her up. She's so beautiful. The first shade I'm going to use is this brown metallic shade called Iconic. I'm going to use a slightly fluffy brush here from the Bold Metals Real Techniques collection. And that's going to just go all over the eyelid. This shade is actually, it's referred to as a pigment in the palette, not an eyeshadow. And it's very nice. It does not go on as dark as it looks in the pan, which is nice. I think it's, uh, it's good to be able to build up a color like this. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going over with another layer of that color and bringing it up into my crease before then um, blending it around the edges with a clean uh, fluffy brush. And in this process, I noticed that I had some uh, stray eyebrow hairs that I should take care of. I have very sparse brows, so I don't tweeze on principle because I'm like, I need to save every brow hair that I can. But there are some that go a little bit too far down and out of the actual path of where I'd like my brows. So I'm gonna take care of these before referring back to my phone for the next steps. And not surprisingly, here we go, that same iconic pigment is going to be lightly put under the lower lash line as well. The next shade that I'm going to use um, in the palette is called Skin Show. You can see it there, it, it looks very pink in the palette, um, but it's, it's actually very light, almost white. Uh, so that's going to go under the brow bone as a highlight. To be honest, this uh, color is a bit of a meh, whatever. It's inconsequential to this look. It's the next shade that we're going to be using that is the star of this look and one of the stars of this palette. And it is this incredible shade here called VR Nectar. It does not show up well on camera, but it's like a pink and green duochrome, like super, super glittery. It's just stunning. Um, so this is happening. This is going through the center of the eyelid and I'm using a fluffy eyeshadow brush from Pat McGrath Labs. It didn't come with this palette, but it came with one of her um, earlier releases. Uh, what were they called? Ooh, that was going to bother me. So I looked it up. The Dark Star, <laughs> uh, Dark Star 006, that incredible blue pigment came in a pack um, with this brush. <laughs> so yeah, keeping it in the PMG Labs family and using this to brush through the center of the eyelids and then taking that clean fluffy brush along the edges to clean things up. Okay, so moving on to eyeliner. Um, this look features some wing liner and I'm going to start to build the wing with just a regular pencil eyeliner, which you're seeing here. This is the Essence 
uh, waterproof gel eyeliner, which is very good and incredibly affordable because I do not have the uh, Pat McGrath eyeliners or the, the pencil eyeliners. So I'm going really carefully along my lash line with that black and then using an angled brush to start winging it out at the corners. In the video, um, they achieve the entire flick of the wing with just a pencil, and uh, that's uh, more power to them. But I'm gonna use this brush and then some liquid eyeliner to go over it to really perfect it, because it's very hard um, with just a pencil eyeliner to do a full-on wing. So I'm taking this Pat McGrath Labs uh, felt tip eyeliner, which came also in one of those Dark Star kits. Before they started selling one-off products, these kits would include, um, you know, eye pigment, eyeshadow, liners. Uh, they were really neat, and I thought they were limited edition and they'd never expand, <laughs> so I bought lots of them. Um, okay, so this color that's going on my inner corner I kind of gave you that like meh look because it just doesn't make sense to me as an inner corner color. It's a really gorgeous eyeshadow. It's like a foiled, like very glittery uh, copper color. And But this is exactly what the video stated they used. So that's going on my inner corner. It's, it's not the one for me, but I, it's still, it's still nice. <laughs> Okay, so dusting off um, any of the glitter that fell off the eyes onto my face so I can move on with the rest of the look. Filling in my brows um, on the end there with the Shu Amora Hard Formula 9 pencil. Um, and I mentioned in one of my last videos that I like doing my brows like this these days. So filling in lightly the shape that I'd like with that um, pencil and then taking Ardell Stroker brow or a similar brow pen to draw on some individual hairs and kind of make them look fuller and bushier than they actually are. All right so that's essentially the eyes done so I'm gonna move on and do my base um, and you know the rest of my face trying to do uh, as much as I can with my Pat McGrath products because I mean why not I'm using the Sublime Skin Foundation here, the infamous $100 foundation from Pat McGrath. Um, I have another video where I um, unbox it and do my first impressions of it, so check that out if you're interested. Um, is it worth $100? I'm not sure yet, but I do really like it. <laughs> um, my favorite uh, way to apply it is using this Real Techniques buffing brush and I find it just gives obviously a light coverage but for me I think it's enough like it just really evens things out um, and blurs imperfections in my skin. Um, I use this shade Light 3 and I think it's um, a really nice match for me and my undertone so you can uh, try that out if you're similar to me. And I find once I've applied the foundation everywhere with a brush, um, the foundation is very runny and so it can look streaky. So I just go over it with a sponge afterwards to get rid of any kind of streaks and excess product. For concealer, you can see here, I'm actually mixing two shades of Tarte Shape Tape. Uh, one is very pink and one is very yellow, so I'm just mixing them together to try to neutralize it a bit. When Shape Tape was first all the rage, <laughs> it wasn't yet available in Canada, and I ended up uh, taking a road trip to Buffalo, New York, and went to an Ulta there, and it was almost all the shades were sold out, and so I wasn't able to get my perfect match, so I got these two and I found, you know, I do need to mix it together to get that right shade. I'm using um, the e.l.f. Wow Brow here just to fluff up my brows for that final bit. 
of extra help there. <laughs> Final step for the eyes is curling lashes and putting on some mascara. Um, I don't know if you noticed at the beginning of the video, but pretty much every post I've ever saved on Instagram is either a Juno Birch look or <laughs> one of these Pat McGrath close-up eye tutorials. I just, I just love them. Um, I know it's like filters on filters on filters and uh, blinding lighting uh, to get that effect, so it won't necessarily look the same here. Um, but I appreciate that they break down the products step by step, and I'm gonna maybe do some more of these looks. This was a simple kind of soft glamorous look to begin with, but I have some more intricate and kind of exciting looks planned. So let me know in the comments if uh, there's one of these tutorials that you want me to recreate or shoot me a DM on Instagram and uh, I'll check it out. Stay tuned for more of these. <laughs> uh, using my Pat McGrath highlighter here, I'm using the creamy stick side, not the bomb side. This is a beautiful highlighter that looks like nothing at first and then just perfects your skin with this luminous glow. I just love it. Oh, hair is coming down, which can only mean one thing. We're almost done. <laughs> but we're on to lips. This is exciting. This is a um, newer Pat McGrath lipstick in my collection that I don't believe I have uh, used in a video yet. It is the shade Valletta, assuming uh, it's named after the supermodel Amber Valletta. And this is um, called a Lux Trance lipstick, so it's um, more of a cream or luster um, formula compared to the first release of lipsticks that Pat did, which were uh, a very matte formula. I really love this color. It's nice peachy pink and I noticed it matches my new pink glasses so that's a bonus <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna use this as a cream blush as well um, to kind of marry the look together uh, just putting some of the lipstick on the back of my hand to warm it up and then pat 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 ding 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 all over my cheeks um, this is a great tip if uh, you don't have a blush that's the exact color you're hoping to match to your lipstick or you know your total look just use your lipstick Ta -da! <laughs> that's it so that's my kind of soft glam super glitter uh, Pat McGrath look and like I said let me know if there are others you'd like to see I have one in the works using the uh, Pat McGrath La Vie en Rose palette and I'm gonna just you know keep scrolling through the Instagram to find some more ideas for y'all thank you so much for watching <laughs> if you'd like to see more please uh, you know subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so you'll know anytime I upload a video thanks a lot <laughs>